Have you ever heard the use of boric acid in noodles? The noodles consumption in Malaysia has risen for the past years. From freshly made to instant noodles, people from all over the country enjoy the food. So what is it about boric acid that makes it harmful to be used as food additive? In this video, we will explain boric acid in details and cover the subtopics of the controversial regarding boric acid in noodles along with the actions taken by the manufacturers and the government bodies. Boric acid used as an additive in various food for a long time ago. It is an antiseptic, pesticide, and a weak fungicide. It always will be used for insect control, food preservative in the furniture industry. Although boric acid is not a low in the food, it has been found in pasta type of food such as yellow noodles, kuih, yao, laksa, and other noodles. The present of boric acid in food product is due to unethical attitude of some grading of manufacture without considering of the safety aspect of food to the consumer. Boric acid is used by this food procedure to extend the product shelf life in and its freshness. The consumption of boric acid as, as a food preservative is prohibited in Malaysia. Individuals who eat food that contain high level of boric acid will experience nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, dermatitis, abnormal function of kidney, acute dysfunction of blood circulation and death depend to the level of boric acid is absorbed by the body. According to Food Regulation 1985, boric acid is not listed as permitted food additive due to its toxicity that has harmful effects to human health. Addition of boric acid has been prohibited in Malaysia. Ingestion of boric acid will result in severe effects such as food poisoning, eye and oral irritation, coughing, vomiting, and if it's not treated, it can lead to death. Some cases of food poisoning had reported, such as in 1988. There was 13 deaths after consuming Chinese noodle known as Lu Si Fan, LSF, during a festival of Nine Emperor God. Initial observation shown each of the patients had diarrhea, pyrexia, vomiting, abdominal pains, seizures, and eventual coma. After clinical observation, it was found that boric acid was the cause of the death. This such case caused by toxicity that boric acid contains. Hence, it is crucial to comply food regulation to avoid including boric acid in food product. Some of the action that can be taken by manufacturers and distributors are First, manufacturers or distributors should advise consumers to report boric acid consumption to the nearest district health office, state health department or through food safety and quality division website if encounter any suspicious presence of boric acid in food. If user or worker manage to detect presence of boric acid quickly, the information should be relayed directly to the production manager and quality control manager to overcome the issue truthfully and in an organized manner. Manufacturers should consider replacing boric acid with other alternative additive that is much that is much safer for consumer. In fact, it is not necessary to include boric acid and borax in foods. It may be supplemented by the introduction in accordance with good manufacturing practice or suitable processing methods. Manufacturer also must consider buying food and food ingredients from reliable suppliers. The addition of boric acid should always be minimized as much as possible and adopt other alternatives and practice a good processing methods on noodle. Manufacturer or supplier may also then a local surveillance on their plant factory to make sure no staff are foul playing during the making of noodles. A test must be carried out on the prototype noodles for each production to ensure its safety and quality for consumer and company's reputation. 
there are a few actions that can be taken by the government or other related institutes on barrel acid in noodles. First, the official institute of Islamic Development Department Jakim has the right and authority to withdraw the halal certifications for the noodles. Government has also laid few regulations that is related on this matter. Food Regulations 1985 listed that boric acid is not a part of safe preservative that can be used in food. Malaysian Food Act 1983 and Food Regulation 1985 also stated that the usage of boric acid in food is strictly prohibited as it can impose serious health threat to consumer. Therefore, it is a serious offence considered by the law. The penalty that can be charged to any refer manufacturer or supplier that are responsible for the usage of body acid in food, not exceeding one hundred thousand ringgit, or imprisonment for a term not exceeding ten years of both. Health minister. May also take charge in seizing any product containing boric acid and initiate court action to displace stern action to the manufacturer or supplier that is responsible for the crime, and allow society to witness, to encourage awareness regarding the danger of boric acid in food product, and should always be alert of what is consumed every day. To conclude, it is important for both consumers and manufacturers to have knowledge on food additives and preservatives. Meanwhile, responsible government bodies must provide fast action to detect any unpermitted food additives in food products.